What's up guys, Dr. Sina here from Movability and today I'm going to be teaching you some techniques that you could use at home to relieve your jaw pain. So let's go over some of the muscle releases first and then I'll take you through some joint mobilizations and some stretches that you can do. So there's two main muscles we're going to be focusing on. One is this red one here and it attaches to the side of the head from here to the jaw and it's responsible for you biting down. So if you check out on my head right here, if I clench, it pops out and you can see it. The other one is right here. It's on your cheek and it's the cheek muscle. That one's also responsible for clenching or biting down. And you can see the movements here. So if you have been um, stressed out or at the gym lifting heavy weights, you could be clenching without realizing it, especially in your sleep. Uh, some people have the tendency to grind or clench in their sleep. So um, these muscles will get affected and there will be some trigger points here and it will refer pain to the head, to the jaw, and sometimes even to the face. So let's start by releasing them. First you're just going to use your hands and gently massage the top one here. And you're just gonna feel for any tender points. So for me, I found a tender point here. What I'm going to do is press into this tender point and put some pressure upwards just to get the skin out of the way because the skin moves, right? We wanna lock that muscle down. So we're gonna go deep and up. And then what you're gonna do is just open your mouth a few times all the way while applying this pressure. So up and like that. And if you want, you can even do both sides at the same time. And you repeat until that feels a little bit better. Now for the muscle here, what we're going to do is, to get on this muscle, you have to find where your ear is, go a little bit forward to your cheekbone, right here. So that's the ear, that's the cheekbone, so this would be right here. And then you're just going to take your thumb and fall a little bit below that. So ear, cheek, and a little bit below and you have that squishy muscle right there. And how you're going to release this one is just take both your thumbs, dig it right in there, and work your way down from here. You can also do this. And just do that until it feels good. So now that we've worked out this muscle and this muscle, our jaw should be a little bit more relaxed and we can start doing some stretches and joint mobilization. So first, let's start stretching the jaw um, from right to left and then left to right because the jaw not only opens and closes like this, but it also has the ability to move this way and that way and also come forward and backward. So what we're going to do is take the chin and we'll, we'll just move it this way first. So relax the mouth. And you should feel a nice stretch here. Hold that for 15 to 20 seconds or until it feels good. And we'll try the other side now. And you'll feel that right here. And the other stretch, this one looks kind of funny, but I swear it feels good. Just take your hands, put it on your teeth, and what you're going to do is push your jaw down. So relax your jaw and press down. Careful not to yank on the jaw, okay? You want to do it nice and gentle, and you don't want to go past pain. So if you feel pain, you don't really push past it, just go until right before. And you feel a nice, good stretch on the side of the face there. The other one you could do, is practice moving your jaw back and forth. So to do that, you're gonna take your thumb again, put it behind the jawbone right here, which is right between where your neck is and where your cheek is. You're gonna go right there, and then you're just going to push your jaw forward. And back. Perfect. Now let's try bringing the jaw back. Good. 
So, you've released the muscles, you've stretched, you've mobilized the joints, and now you need to start activating those muscles just to strengthen them a little bit. So the first one is just to try to move your jaw right and left. So watch me. And then you're gonna do it with resistance. So I'm gonna put my hand here, press into the jaw, and then try to move my jaw that way. Be careful again not to put too much pressure um, right in the beginning. Good. So for me, I can tell already this side's a lot weaker, so that's the side I'm going to be working on. Now we're going to practice protruding our jaw or pushing it forward. Good. We don't really need to work our bite muscles again because they're always used, but the ones we do need to work on are the ones that open the jaw. So they start from here to here and they're deep inside your neck. So what you're going to do is take your thumbs, put it under your jaw, and then you're going to push up against your jaw, but try to open at the same time. Like that. And that feels great. So give those a try. All you have to do is just follow along. You don't need any equipment or anything. If you know somebody who has jaw pain or clicking, tag them below. Drop a like on the video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and uh, I'll be, get back to you as soon as I can.